everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ask Amber, and in this video, I am continuing on in my series of how to make a VR chat avatar from start to finish in Blender. In this video, I'm gonna go over how to combine materials really easily and also go over a little bit of talking about unwrapping UVs. Let's get started. So in previous videos, this is the model that we've been working on. We have her body, we have some clothing added, we've gone over how to resize and reshape and weight paint different things to your model that maybe didn't fit your model before or were made for a different model and how to make it work for you. In this video, we're going to be going over this choker that I downloaded. I think it's super adorable and super cute. But when I look at the materials of this choker by going down to my materials tab, I see that there's four materials on here, which is not the worst thing ever. You could definitely add this to Unity and have those four materials already set up. In fact, they are already named very well, but I want to go through a little bit on how to combine these materials really easily. So I want only two materials, one of them being the metals that matches all the rest of the metals on my avatar. So if I go down to something that I know has the metals on it, I know that my head has metals on it from the piercings and it's just called metal and it has a little dark icon because that's the color of the metal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my choker, I'm going to select this metal, I'm going to click this little ball for the drop down and I'm going to find the metal that I already have added to the rest of my materials and it will just copy that material directly over to this one and link them together so that when I import into Unity, whether I have one object or a bunch of different objects that have this material, this material will import as one singular material and when I edit it, all of the materials linked to that will edit together. But as for the other parts, I would like these three different materials to be just one. So we have a choker, we have the heart, and we have the wings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this choker and I'm going to go up here in the top to UV editing. Now this is going to open up a whole different window. It's going to be split one and the other. And basically you're going to have your selected item in this window that you're working on UVs for. So I'm going to create a new image to work with by clicking new. I'm going to size it and it's easy to size two things at once width and height as long as I just drag on both of those and then I'm going to click at the end and I want it twice the size. So I want a 2K image so I'm going to do a little asterisk and then I'm going to do times two and it will resize both of those to 2048. Then for the color, I like to have a completely transparent, so I'm going to turn the alpha all the way down to zero, and I'm going to click OK, and that will give me my new image to work with. Now this image isn't saved or anything, but this is just uh, correct sizing and everything for what I would like to work with. So now while I'm in this view, you can actually scroll over on the top here to get the view that I commonly like to work with, with my avatars, which there's four different views. So the first is wireframe, and then the second is gonna be all grayed out like this, called solid, and I like to do the third one down, which is the material preview. So this shows you the actual materials on your avatar. I really like to look at it from this view. It makes it a lot more simple and easy to manage. So I'm going to go ahead and click off of this so that nothing is selected and there's nothing selected in my UV viewport. So this is UVs. This is basically if you were to lay out all of the polygons in your whole model flat, they would show up in this area. So then I'm going to go into my materials tab and here I can see all the things that I can see in my main screen, my three different materials. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the metal one. It selects only the metal material part and it selects it also in this UV view. So we're not gonna mess with any of this because this is a perfectly fine UV layout for my metals. So we're just going to ignore that for now. So let's go ahead and click on the choker and click select. So now it has selected the whole choker and as you can see, nothing has shown up and that's because this is not unwrapped at all. And so if you were to put a texture on here, it would not show up properly because it needs to be unwrapped a little bit differently. And I'm going to show you how to unwrap. It's not scary at all. I promise you are going to be just fine. What you're going to do is you're going to select the number two and that's going to put you in edge select. So you're not selecting the entire face. You're just going to be able to select individual edges of your polygons. And for a choker like this, all you have to do 
is select all of the polygons around one of the rims so that it separates the front of the choker from the back of the choker. Think of it like if you have a piece of clothing, where are the seams on your clothing that have been sewn together? So like if you have this shirt, for example, you would have a seam right here down the side. You would have a seam maybe right here on the top of the shoulder. And that's where you're gonna wanna put your seams on your polygons as well. So for this, I'm just going to split the front from the back of this so that it lays flat perfectly. So how I'm gonna do that is I'm going to try and see if there's edge loops on here. So I'm gonna hold down Alt and I'm going to click on one of these edges. And as you can see, it selected the entire edge in an edge loop. So because it didn't select it all the way around, it ended right here. I'm gonna go ahead and Alt and then select another edge loop. But in order to select two, you're gonna to have to hold Shift, which means you're gonna select more than one thing. So Shift and Alt and select another edge loop. Then I'm gonna try this again. But in this, you can see it selected this entire edge loop right here. So I don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna Control Z that. And I'm just gonna hold down Shift and select each of these individual edges manually while holding Shift down. Then I'm gonna hold Alt again and select on the bottom and it's gonna go all the way around the bottom here. That looks perfectly fine. And then I'm gonna shift and hold all of these edges as well. And that basically makes it so that your entire edge is selected. I believe I have one more on this side and then select the bottom edge loop and there we go. Now I have all of the edges and they all connect with each other. Then I'm gonna right click on here and I'm gonna click mark seam. This basically makes an orange line that tells Blender exactly where you want it to be cut whenever it's laying it out flat. So when you have a UV, it's a flat version of your 3D object and you have to tell it exactly where you want it to slice apart so that it can be even. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that my choker material is selected and I'm gonna click this little select button so it selects only this white part of the choker. And then I'm gonna go up to this menu right here, UV, and I'm gonna click unwrap. And there you go, it unwrapped my whole choker in some nice pieces. And I like to select this right here in the UV selection mode, selecting island. It will select an entire piece altogether. So I'm just gonna select this piece and I'm gonna click G to move it, and then I'm gonna click S. It's the same shortcut keys as you would use in regular Blender. So I'm just gonna organize these a little bit so that they're in a spot where I am comfortable with them being. So now when I add a texture, they're going to be much easier to add, and if I wanna add glitter or anything like that, it will add to this seamlessly. So I'm actually gonna rotate this a little bit, hold control and it will like snap the rotation as I'm rotating it. You can rotate with R, R is for rotate, and then G to move and I'm gonna move it into place. So now my choker is unwrapped, so what about the rest of it? Here I'm gonna show you a little bit of a trick that I like to use when I'm doing something that's a little bit more complicated but that is a flat shape. And this is a little bit of cheating because you're not exactly getting it perfect, but in a pinch and for something so small as this, it is a really easy, easy way to kind of cheat the system. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select off of that so I don't have my choker selected anymore because I'm going to be working on the heart and the wings now. So I'm gonna select the heart and I'm also gonna select the wings. And as you can see, they're all like this, they're not unwrapped, but I am too lazy. I don't wanna do any of the seams on each of these because that's gonna take a long time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to snap it to the position straight up front and I'm gonna show you my little hack. So I'm gonna go to UV and then I'm going to say project from view. So it's gonna take whatever view is in this window and it's going to project the view front and back of these UVs and it's going to put them in exactly the same shape right here. The thing with that is on the edges here, it's not going to be a perfect UV seam. It's not going to be laid out as well as if you were to unwrap them. But for something this small, especially if you're gonna do like a solid color or something like that, this is perfect. So I'm gonna go UV, project from view. And there you go, look, I have my heart and my wings all ready to go. And I'm just gonna organize these a little bit and I am going to say that I'm gonna have both of these wings be the same color. So I'm gonna take the wing on the right, I'm gonna right click and I'm going to mirror it on the X axis, which is left to right. And then I'm gonna take G and move it to be right on top of the other wing because I know that these wings are gonna be the same color. Then I'm going to make it a little bit larger just for design's sake. Remembering that the UV for my choker part is up here in this top section. So I'm gonna put the heart and the wing in the bottom section. So now if I select 
all by clicking A within this window. And then I want to unselect the metal so I can deselect that right there. Now I can move them around so that these are in perfect alignment and just set up my UV exactly how I want it to look. So now I have one UV and it has all three of these textures on it, which is perfect. So then I'm going to hit A to select everything in this UV. I'm going to click on UV and I'm going to export my UV layout. I'm going to go back into my same textures folder that I've been keeping all of my textures in. I'm going to name it choker and I'm going to export that UV layout into that folder and it will be the 2K photo that I saved my image as. So that's all you need to do for the UV area. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this metal down to the bottom by hitting this little arrow. So I want it at the very bottom of my list, but I'm going to get rid of the wings and the heart and I'm going to combine them with the choker by pressing this minus button. It'll basically merge the wings UV up to the heart UV and then merge the heart UV up to the choker UV. So now I have all of my UV on this choker material and I'm going to show you how to get your colors back and to get some masks back right now. And to do that, I'm going to be using Photoshop, but you can literally use any imaging editing software that you have. So here I am in Photoshop. I have my UV map that I exported. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select the background and I'm going to inverse that so that it's selected everything right here. And then I like to give it a little buffer room. So I'm going to expand my selection right here by about, mm, let's do 10 pixels. That looks pretty good. And then I'm going to set my selection to white and I'm just going to color in this entire thing, making it all a solid color. Now I want my heart to be pink, so I'm going to choose a pink color and color my heart pink. And then I wanted blue wings. We're just putting it back to the same kind of colors that it was before. But you can really do whatever you want here. You can do any color that you would have done your material. So I'm going to color that blue and then I'm going to leave my choker parts white. And then I'm going to click save on that and it will save my texture. Now here's the real magic. This part you won't use in Blender, but I guarantee you're going to use it in Unity because we're going to create masks. So I'm going to go ahead and select all the pieces that I know are part of the choker. I'm going to duplicate that layer and then I'm going to fill in the background of that layer with black and I'm going to name this layer choker mask. Then I'm going to do the same thing with the heart and the wings except I'm going to fill these in again with white so I have a white and black image and then I'm going to fill the background with black on both of these. So basically I have a mask for the choker, I have one for the heart, and I have one for the wing. And I'm going to export these three images into my texture folder. Once I have that done, I am able to, in Unity, make a matte cap mask or a cube matte mask or a detail mask and basically put a matte cap or something on just one part of this choker. So instead of having three materials, I have three small textures that will make it so that I can mask out the areas I want on one singular material and have it look just as good as if it were three materials. So now that I'm back here in Blender, I can go and choose my base color, as an image texture, I can open up my textures folder and in here are the three masks and the choker texture that I just made. And when I click the choker texture, there you go. You have your blue and pink back, but now it's all on one texture and you have masks where you can totally edit and customize exactly what you want for each piece of the choker. And then your metals is not even an extra material because we're already using metals in many other places on here. So technically your choker is just one material along with the metal. So that is how you unwrap and combine materials in a very customized way and edit them to exactly your liking for a lot better optimization. I will be going over a Unity tutorial at some point to discuss how I set up my materials in Unity, how I use masks, and how they are super, super effective and you can get pretty much any result you want using masks instead of using multiple materials. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. Watch out for that video coming soon. Thank you all for watching. I love you so much and I'll see you in the next one.